guys so i'm getting ready for work i've lost my questions um and i realized i haven't done my q a yet that i asked people to ask questions for in october um i've been really busy with work and then when i was gonna do it i was ill um, i've been fighting a lot of stuff with my last workplace which i'll do a video explaining but i've got my questions written down so i'm now gonna answer them i'm having to do it really quick because like i say i'm in the middle of getting ready for work um so i'm doing it like because people have been asking where's the video so here it is so i had two on facebook i had my friend d that said advice for people starting youtube i would say just go for it um don't watch the subs don't watch the views on your videos because if you watch that too much and focus on it too much it can drag you down um i've got a proper high up ponytail going on today i might need to fix that i look like a bird um yeah i would say don't focus too much on the numbers otherwise you'll stop enjoying doing what you're doing um, don't let it burn you out. Just enjoy yourself and just be you. That's all I can say. Like, I'm crazy and I'm crazy in all my videos. So I would say just focus on being you. People don't like it, then they don't like it. And then I got another one from Bex saying top five Westlife songs. Uh... Flying Without Wings, My Blood, love that one, uh, I feel on the spot, World of Our Own, Written in the Stars, and Total Eclipse of the Heart. I should have thought about that, but, you know. And I've got on Instagram, Fizzy Mia Corn, dream job. I always thought that my dream job was to either work in the care environment or become a nurse. But since I've recently joined the hospitality world, I must admit I'm enjoying that a lot more. Um, so I don't know if I have a dream job at the moment. I'm just doing the job that I love. I would like to stay in the hospitality environment. I must admit it is a lot of fun, but dream job, I don't know. I am 28, but you know, still young, still time to figure it out. And then I have Mia's Pretty Life on Instagram. Biggest fear. My biggest fear would probably be something happening to my kids um, because they obviously live in Scotland and I live all the way down in Manchester, not much, for much longer. Um, so it would probably be something serious happening to them while I'm all the way down here, or even something happening to them while we're up in Scotland. My biggest fear is something happening to my kids. That's, that's just me as a mum. And then, <laughs> one of my dreams one of my dreams is my kids to be happy that's it if my kids are happy i'm happy that's that's easy i have natalie favorite color pink pink favorite animal a unicorn i love unicorns so i would say a unicorn and then she, and she also put why so pretty no but thank you Narice Fweeby on Twitter has put biggest regret in life my biggest regret would probably be like if I could go back to school the person I am now I think my school life would be different um, I got bullied a lot uh, bullied in adult life as well which you guys know about 
So I think my biggest regret is not standing up for myself, not fighting back. I, like, I really wish that I'd fought back a lot more. Um, Lacosa, next hair colour. Well, it was blue. <laughs> and obviously now it's like a, a pinky red. I tell you what I want to do though. Has anyone seen that toxic UV? So it's like a green colour, but under the UV light, it glows. It glows in the dark. That's my next colour, but I have to speak to work about that because they might say no. But that's my next colour. Um, oh, Narice also said, when are we going to meet? I don't know, but I hope soon. I've known Narice for years now and we still haven't met and it upsets me. And Leanne's husband, Phil, put videos of Poppy and her mad skills. Yes. Actually, I've taken a lot of little clips of Poppy and her mad skills. So what I might do is put them all together and put a video up on YouTube because she's got some... She's got some serious skills. She is one crazy cat. So I'll probably do like a little compilation of all the videos and whack that up on YouTube. But yeah, this was fun. This was like one of the quickest Q and A's I've ever done, but like I say, getting ready for work, so it had to be rapid. Um, also, people have said that they really enjoyed the Google feud. So I will do another Google feud because I love that game. Um, if there's any other videos that you guys wanna see, let me know, leave a comment. I've got something exciting happening on Sunday which I might vlog. Um, I can't say anything else about it until we see what the outcome is. But I might vlog that. You guys can share the experience. And I'll see you all soon.